Welcome to the Edwardian era. What an exciting time to be alive. It was a time of hope and a time of invention. In a span of one decade, people went from having to travel six months to six days due to expansion of railways and motor vehicles, although most families still traveled by boat or horse and carriage. Activism for women's rights and protests to protect our forests and wildlife became important causes that caught the attention of many politicians. President Eisenhower, Vice President Nixon, President Truman, Reverend Clergy, fellow citizens. Families were finally able to gather around a phonograph and listen to music in their own homes. Some families were even lucky enough to have access to light bulbs and electricity in their own homes. More people were able to experience motion picture. So many changes happened during this decade and it was a time of hope and people looked to the future in excitement of what was to come. Welcome to the 1900s. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Decades video. I am so excited for this week's video because in today's video we are entering the 1900s. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini movie I put at the beginning of this video. I thought it would be kind of cool to just do a little bit of a display of what was going on in the 1900s. Now I have a few things to say about the 1900s. First off I want to say that uh, when it came to the 1900s, it was very much a time of excitement and hope. That's what the 1900s was really known about. So a lot of things were happening in, in the world. It was becoming a very, it, it became an economic boom, but it also brought on a huge change for most people. Most people weren't used to all of these things, so it was a very overwhelming time, but also exciting time to be alive. I'll quickly say that I recognize the struggles that all different cultures went through during this time, and that I personally don't feel comfortable reflecting that in my gameplay, because I want Sims to be a happy place where everyone is treated equally, and that's what I'm gonna do with my storyline here with the decades. So I hope that you guys understand and that you guys agree with that decision. I just want to have fun, and that's what we're gonna do. So if you guys are ready for this episode, please give it a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought. This should be a pretty exciting episode, so let's jump into it. We are gonna read part two of the Decades Challenge Rules for the 1900s. Now, again, I always have the links in the description for the rules that I'm following, so make sure you guys go and check that to keep up with the rules and see if I'm doing them right, because I need you guys to make sure I'm not messing up. <laughs> so, it says here the 1900s is called the greatest generation. Sims may now have the following careers, as well as the ones listed above. So, we can go into business, culinary, and musician. Women who are widowed or divorced may not work in the business, culinary, or musician career. They can only work in what was listed above. You can now have electricity, but only in the form of lamps. Indoor plumbing is now allowed. No showers, only bathtubs. So the first thing we need to do, if I remember, we have a lot to do in this episode. We need to move the toilet inside. Yay! Um, optional. Cheapest computer may be bought, but for your sims, so for, but only for the use of writing, so anyone could become writers. Um, I don't think anyone's a writer right now, so I'm not going to get a computer, but it's good to know that I can do that, because um, maybe Harry will go down a writing career or something, who knows. Um, they cannot play games or anything like that. You can now have wallpaper! Oh my gosh, our house is going to be so cute! I'm so excited. The phonograph is now available for music. That's amazing. Your Sims can go on vacation now, and by the end of this decade, you will need a cow plant. We already have our cow plant in the family inventory, but we do have to worry about moving a toilet inside and getting some wallpaper. And also, we need to remember that now that we have Emma, who is a child, from the rules from the 1890s, 
Female children only move out once they are married. They Elementary is mandatory, but high school is optional. So it says here, high school it has a fee. It costs $1,000 for every teenager going to school. So if they don't have enough money to um, pay for Emma to go to high school, then she will stop school after elementary and she will then go um, stay and start helping on the farm with her mom until she's married to a husband. So yeah, so uh, like I said, everything will be linked down below and let's jump into it you guys because I'm just so excited. Alrighty, so we are joining our beautiful family. And we need to first start off with giving little Emma, who aged up in the last episode, a makeover. I, once again, have moved them to a different land because it just, they keep growing too much. This lot is a much bigger lot and makes a lot more sense for the family. So their old house is, where is it? Over here. And I'm going to uh, probably put the shopping center over there because they just needed more space for their farm to grow. So let's go quickly take a peek at um, little Emma and give her a makeover. Alice is pregnant. Okay, so let's take a look at Miss um, Emma. Alrighty, you guys. So this is Emma aged up with her makeover. Uh, I think she turned out really cute. I really don't have a huge selection of alpha hair for kits. So there was a couple of hairstyles I could pick from. They didn't really fit the time period, so I decided that I went with the Maxis Match custom content. So I hope you guys don't mind. And also, if you guys could let me know down below where you guys get your kids' uh, alpha hairstyles from because I checked on The Sims Resource and I checked on Tumblr and it was really hard to find some. So if you don't mind recommending some to me, I would be forever grateful. Okay, so enough chatting and let's look at beautiful Emma. So I gave her a really basic look because again, they're not a super wealthy family, but I still wanted her to look really cute. So for all of her looks, I have included, um, I will have all the CC listed down below for her, um, but I've included the same shoes for all of her looks because I felt like, again, they don't have a lot of money, so they probably would uh, be reusing. So that's her everyday look. This is her um, formal wear, and I thought she looked so pretty in navy blue, so I kind of carried that theme throughout the rest of her outfits. And I downloaded this really cool hair that has this beautiful braid, and it looks so time appropriate that I just loved it. So I gave her that hair. She looks so precious. Then this is her sportswear. Again, the same shoes and just a nice pretty basic dress. Her nighttime look, so cool. Her party look. Her swimwear, I just carried the navy blue through. I don't have swimwear for that time period that looks really good, so that's what I stuck with. And I gave her the same hot weather look as her sports look, but I put her hair in braids. Then her cold weather, I gave her this look with this cute little bonnet hat for her, and I think she looks so cute, and I just gave her some basic boots. So there is Miss Emma Dempsey, everyone. So there's Emma looking adorable. Her needs seem to be okay. So the next step of what we need to do is we need to change this build around a little to work for all of the family. I changed the house a lot. Oh, I forgot to put a roof on, but I'll show you guys first and then I will, uh, I will deal with the rest. So this is the house from the front for now. I ran out of money to finish what I started here, but I'm hoping throughout the episode we will get enough money to be able to complete it. So when you come in the front door, you just see the main hallway here as you enter the house. And then from the right and onto the right hand side you have, which will become like the sitting area. We'll have a fireplace in here. It's gonna be so cute. So I put the family photos on the wall here. Then you'll come around here into the washroom. Then you 
come out of here and you go around this way and then you have another entrance way where you would go into the dining area and small kitchen space. And I really like how that turned out. Then when you come upstairs, first you enter Elias and Alice's room. Eventually I would like to try to build a, a wall so it's more closed off so they have their own space too. And then off to the side here in this room, we have the kiddos, the kids bedroom. Um, but I just realized that where Emma's bed is gonna be does not work for where the door has to be for this house. Don't have enough money to buy Emma's um, mattress yet. So like I said, by the end of the episode, hopefully I will have enough for that. There, so that'll be the front entrance way. So that's the kids' bedroom for now. So it is a Saturday at the farm. Oh, and uh, Alice is feeling really sad from missing hanging out with a friend. She is pregnant in her second trimester. Elias is feeling insecure about his weight, and he has actually put on a little bit. So I think I am going to send him to go for a jog. And I'm going to have Emma help out with the baby. So she's going to hang out with Harry and keep him company while her parents uh, do what they have to do. So cute. And Harry is sad because of his shadow. So I do have the Talented Kids mod installed, so we will be able to get Emma to do things around the farm, like clean. Um, and garden and all kinds of stuff. So like I could have her come over here and take care of the garden. And I think I will get um, Emma to come over here and sell everything and water everything in the garden. So uh, Emma is just helping mom out around the house. Uh, she's gonna sell everything and hopefully when she does we will have a little bit of extra money here And I have Alice uh, Painting finishing her painting off. I'm hoping at some point I'll be able to get like a little desk for Emma where she can do her she can do her homework maybe in the sitting area here I really hope you guys like what we did with the house. I think it's really cute did Elias go for a jog? Is he feeling good about working out? Nope. Emma is super bored, so we're gonna have to invite over Annette, Mitchell, and Gianni, and Lily. Okay, so she's just watering the garden. She's doing such a great job whistling to herself. Does he feel better that he's worked out now? Well, clean. Clean with vigor when you're done. Okay, so all of her little friends are coming over, so that's good. I'm gonna have Elias clean that toilet. All of her friends are here. So I'm just gonna quickly, I know they're not gonna look the way I would like them to, but they need to age up so they're Emma's age for school. Oh, they all look so cute, her little friends. So let's have her come over here and be friendly with all of her friends. I had to sell her dollhouse. Nobody will finish anything for me today. I wonder if my game has some issues. Oh, so she's feeling confident, glamorous presence, feeling attractive after getting a really nice compliment. Aw, so one of her friends must have given her a compliment. Gianni's feeling really sad though, so I'm gonna ask if she wants to stargaze with him or anything just because I feel so bad. We do have some toys up here, so that's good. And Harry seems to his movement must be pretty good because he got upstairs here. So all the kids are hanging out there. Alice is, where is she doing? She is 
girl or boy, she's thinking about that. Let's bring her easel inside so she can paint. I'm just gonna put it right here for now. And we'll have her do a large classic painting. And Sarah wants to hang out, so we should let Sarah come over. Uh, invite Sarah to hang out that way she can visit with her friend and it looks like Emma is oh she, yeah so she's stargazing with Gianni so hopefully that'll help their um, relationship grow a little bit and here comes beautiful Sarah now in the last video I asked you guys if you wouldn't mind making a husband for Miss Sarah and here she is she is so pretty. Um, you guys really came through. So what I'm quickly going to do, let me just quickly show you guys all of the townies that you guys made for me. So we had three families uploaded to the gallery by two different creators. So the first one was created by Simming Slytherin. Now she created Scott Dunham and his niece and nephew. It says here, Scott never thought of himself as a family man until his sister and her husband died in a tragic accident and left their son Daniel and daughter Brianne to be raised by their uncle. Now all that is missing is a life partner. Yeah. Um, I hope you like them. I did not use CC except for the default skin and eyes. Thank you for inspiring me to do my first cast video. And then she gives the link to her YouTube channel. I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below as well as her video. She did such a great job with these guys. I absolutely love them. And if this isn't a potential love interest for little Miss Emma, I don't know. So I've already moved this family into Sarah's household and I have them dating. So I've decided as a separate side episode from the regular decade series, we are going to do a special event with that is just Sarah's, um, that is just Sarah's wedding. It'll be a shorter video, but I just wanted to kind of put attention on Sarah because she is such a big part of our growing little community and a best friend of Alice. I really want to develop her character. So I think that it would be really cool to be able to get to know Scott and Brienne and Daniel and just kind of see their little family. So thank you so much Simming Slytherin. I can't believe you took time out of your day to actually make a sim for me and for my, my LP. Uh, it just means so much to me and I'm just over the moon. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you. Uh, so the next one, okay, so I have a, I have an amazing viewer by the name of Bad Simmer. I don't know how you do it, but you just make me smile all the time with all of your kind comments, your support, and the fact that you took time out of your day, not only one, but two separate Sim families for me, for the LP, is just so exciting. I never thought anyone would actually do it, so the fact that you took time to do this means so much to me and I know I've said thank you already but I want to say thank you again and I'm going to be linking all of the socials down all of the socials down below for our beautiful friend that simmer now on the origin it the origin ID though is BJ Sims King 12 and they put Hashtag for the love of Sim Townies. This Sim is also for the decades. She is a local schoolhouse teacher and loves kids. So her name is Madison. I think she turned out perfect. And I have actually put her in our schoolhouse lot. And if you don't remember, at the beginning of my series, I did a little tour of the town of the different lots that I had placed. And one of them was a schoolhouse where I want Emma to go when she's at school. So probably one of the days off, I'll have all the kids go there. So there's Madison. And the second one that Simmer made is the Stokes family. And they put in there, this fam is a... This family has a bit of money for the 1900s. Not a lot, but not super poor. They live a fine life with Oliver being a known writer and his wife takes care of the family. Also, the only CC used was Avery's dress. I didn't have her dress, so I just replaced it with a different one, but oh my gosh. I just love this little family. Look how, I mean, Dad, Oliver's a cutie. I love his nose and I love that he's a writer and I just, I love this family. 
So I'm pretty excited about this. And we have Gage and we also have Lucy. So we have potential love interests not only for Emma, but also for Harry and friends, of course. So once again, thank you to everyone who partook in uploading townies for me to the hashtag for the love of sims townies if you guys want to see your townies in my lp uh and be walking around in our little decades world please feel free to upload them to the hashtag for the love of sims townies and i will continue to check back there to see if there are any new additions and if we need to add them to the town and yeah so let's jump back into the game now Okay, so I would imagine Sarah's just telling Alice that she's met a gentleman and that it's getting pretty serious. See how flirty she is because of it? So Alice is really excited for her. I think we have enough money where we could hang another light at least in the dining or in the sitting room. Now, one of the super exciting parts of, um, one of the super exciting parts of this decade is that our Sims can finally listen to music. They can finally buy some lamps, but they can only be lamps. They cannot be anything else. So I still think that this family would be on the poorer side, that they could not afford to have a lot, but I think they might invest in one music player and one lamp just because it's such an exciting time. And I want little Emma to start an after school group of her own. Let's just name it the Littles Club for now. And we are gonna add Annette, Gianni, Lily, and Mitchell. choose activity I think they should do kids activities obviously do homework that sounds good play with toys uh, play on playground equipment now that they're older they can play on that wood ship that we have at the park so that's good and I think all oh, perform puppet shows I love that idea and what else Social, be friendly, I like that. Okay, and let's make it, let's do the rainbow. Okay, and it's open invitation. I don't think she would have any reason to. She's a social butterfly. She wants to meet five new sims, so she still needs to meet two more, but she has her first day of school on Monday, so hopefully she will meet another sim. So all of Emma's friends are taken off. Emma is running all the way across the farm to the toilet. Alrighty, so Alice is finally finished and it was worth 551. That's amazing. Um, I'm not letting her take a break. I don't care what she, oh, she's gotta go pee. Well, guess what, Alice? I just remembered we can have a toilet inside. That is so exciting for Alice especially. Um, oh, and Lewis Sim, who is apparently a genius, no shade intended, I literally love this girl. She is amazing. Um, she told me that there is a Aspirea thing that we can buy for Alice. We still need the baby toddler. Let's put the baby potty upstairs in his room there I guess for now she told me that I could buy a oh my gosh look at that we have a toilet downstairs that is amazing um, she told me that Alice has enough aspiration points that we could buy the uh, big bladder or something like that okay so let's just let her go pee what are you doing oh she's going to go wash her hands so it's here, steel bladder. I don't have enough yet. She only has 1250. So once Alice can get that, I will be really happy. I need her to keep painting though, because we really need to start making some money. Uh, and we saved a lot of money being able to delete our, oh, we left the roof, just the floating roof. Um, we saved a lot of money though being able to sell that house so we can go get Emma her bed before we go to sleep So here's her bed. 
I don't know if they would afford to buy like a fancy one that's pink, but let's see. I really like navy blue for her. Let's do navy blue and pink. This is from Lynn's Lou. I will link all the CC that I've added into this house this far into the description box, so don't worry. So this is Emma's bed. Uh, what else does she need? She is good on pretty much everything, so I'm gonna send her to sleep. I have not even paid attention to Harry once today. What's wrong with Harry? Harry needs a lot of things, so let's get Elias to give food to Harry. Give him some ham and cheese, please. Because he is so sad. So Harry's gonna be taken care of. Alice is heading out. Bye, or er, Sarah's heading out. Bye, Sarah, we're so excited for your big day. I am anyways. Um, so Harry's gonna eat and then we're gonna give him a bath and then we're gonna put him to sleep. So hopefully by then Alice will be finished her painting. She wants to kiss Elias and she wants to chat with Emma. So I am definitely going to get her to do those things. Harry is eating his food. He is so handsome. I love Harry. Him and his sister look so much alike. Okay, so he's done eating. So now I'm going to have Elias give Harry a bath. He's letting Alice kind of do her thing because she's so heavily pregnant. She, she can't be lifting the kids and stuff right now as much as she would like to be doing that. So Emma has discovered something under her bed. Well, look at her in her sleepwear. How cool is that? Oh no, Alice just passed out. She came to tell her mom and she's like, yeah, sorry kid, you're on your own. Oh my gosh, it's, I'm so bad at a sleep schedule. I was too busy chatting with you guys. It's five o'clock in the morning. Okay, so let's put everyone to sleep at a horrible time. Oh, and we have entered summer, you guys. So Emma has really good energy, actually. And so I'm gonna have her get an early start to her day and she's gonna go downstairs and she's going to take a bath while the rest of the house is sleeping. And I'm gonna have her start some breakfast because she would definitely have been taught like how to make bread and different things. So after that, she is going to serve breakfast for the family. And eggs and toast is definitely a simple meal. Like I'm not asking her to be crazy here, but I definitely made um, breakfast and stuff with my mom when I was like 12 and 13. I could make some eggs and some toast for myself, so. So this is the Talented Kids mod. You can see she's cooking, but it kind of stretches her a little bit. Like, it's not very good, <laughs> but it works. So it doesn't look the coolest, but it definitely works. Alice, did you not go pee? There we go. And look at little Emma. She's going to have breakfast ready for her mom. So now Alice can come over and grab a serving of that. She's probably about to burst, you guys. Pregnant in her third trimester. So we'll have to wait and see what happens there. So Alice wants to chat with Emma. So let's just have them ask about day ask about school and brighten her day. So there they are, having a nice visit with each other. I wonder if the new baby will have the brown hair. I hope we get a brown haired baby next. Oh my gosh, you guys, we can get wallpaper, I just realized. So I don't need to have all this ugly wood. Are you guys so excited? I'm so excited. Let's go wallpaper. And what did I download? Well, that could be nice. Ooh, I like that. So warm and cozy feeling. And then, no, that stays there. Maybe something like that. Okay, and then in the sitting room, I'm, I really hope you guys like what I've done with the place. I really hope you guys let me know 
what you guys think because I would love to hear your guys' opinions on how I have been changing the house because um, I'm really excited about it. I feel like there should be a window here at some point, but um, not right now because we have 53 simoleons. Emma needs to actually do her homework. So I'm just gonna set it there and I'm gonna have her come do her homework. And oh my gosh, Alice and her bladder again. She just ate. Is she carrying like triplets or something? Oh, so sweet. So she's doing her homework. I'm really proud of her. She needs to meet two more friends for her little aspiration. Oh, one new sim. So when she goes to school tomorrow, I bet you she will. And Emma is learning some responsibility by cleaning up all the dirty dishes before dinner. And Dad is just working on making some more woodworking, some sculptures to sell at the table. So these guys are all just having a little family dinner. Harry ate early, so I think he's upstairs in his room right now. Yeah, he's playing in his room. Does he have to potty soon? No, he seems to be okay. So she's probably just, Emma's probably just talking to them about how she's so excited for her first day at school. She gets to meet her new school teacher. Everyone has heard such great things about her. I think her name is Jasmine, right? Is that what we said? So it's a very exciting time. Oh, Harry's here like, hi dad. His energy's low, so I'm gonna send him to sleep. Emma's already gone to sleep. Dad'll go to sleep, and mom is mopping when I told her to, oh, she finished, she just needs to sell it. Okay, first day of school for Emma, so hopefully she'll meet, oh! Alice just went into labor. Nope, nope, nope. You cannot go to sleep, you need to have a baby, and Elias needs to wake up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I was not, well, I mean, I knew it was coming. Okay, go have a baby, Alice. Go on. You can't get to it? You can't go here? You can't have a baby here? Okay, so what happened? Let's put the baby. Oh, why do we have two cradles? Oh my god, does she have twins? Is that why all of a sudden there's two cradles here? I don't know why we have two cradles all of a sudden, you guys. It doesn't say that she's having twins, though, so... I guess we'll just wait and see. It's a good thing the kids are sleeping for this. I have to say, Elias is the best. He's always there for her. He doesn't run away. Alice just gave birth to a baby boy. This needs this baby needs a name to the last episode and let's see your guys' comments. Okay, some names uh so Evil Ghost says some names I have is Clara Flora Theodora uh for boys, Joseph Theodore and Vincent. Oh, I love Theodore and I love Vincent. Okay, let's see if any of you guys agree with those names. Um, let's see what Simmer Elise says. Um, boy names, Ernest, William, Charles, and Albert. Ooh, I love all of those names. Alexa says for boy, Samuel, Arthur, Arthur, Charlie. Oh, so we have Charles and we have Charlie, okay. Lily says, um, William, Chris, or Henry. Oh, I really like William. That's a nice name, too. We had two of the viewers agree with the name Charles Charlie. So I think we'll go with Charles, because that seems to be at least I'm making as many people as possible happy. And I have a feeling they're going to have a lot of kids, so don't worry about it. We definitely will be able to... Okay, so we had one baby. We'll be able to use these names, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna have her, no, you can't bottle feed. Has to be breastfed, Alice, you know better. Come on. Wow, you guys, so there's Charles. Okay, so I'm gonna have her go to sleep. Aw, look, Elias is dreaming of his new baby boy. 
The family is growing, you guys. We have five now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Emma's getting ready for school. Dad's feeding or giving Harry a bath. How's her energy? She seems to be doing pretty good. So I think she's gonna be ready. So she can, yeah, she, she's already automatically cleaning up. She's so responsible. So her manners are going up. Is she off to school? She's telling mom, she's so excited. I'm so excited for you. You're gonna do a great job. Um, encourage her recent behavior of doing dishes so that way Emma knows she's doing a good job. And Emma is off to school. I don't know why she wore that outfit, but that's okay. Off to school you go, little Emma. Have a wonderful day. We love you. Okay, let's have her make friends. Oh, Emma met Max while she's at school. So she went to the next level now. So now she needs to achieve level five social skill and make a best friend. Emma has returned home with, from school with a project. Completing this project will grant school progress. Okay, so we'll do that in the next episode. She wants to play, so let's buy her a little swing set so she can swing when she's at home. So I wanted to get her the wood one, but it's too much. So for right now, she's just getting this uh, one. And once we can afford the wood one, <clears throat> I'll switch it over. Go swing. Go have fun. That'll make you feel better. Go have some fun. You're just a little girl. You deserve to have some fun. So I think as a little surprise to the kiddos and to them, I think we are going to get them. Oh, that's exciting. And he's gonna come over and he's going to listen to classical music. And Alice is gonna come in here and so is Emma. And they have music in their little house. Emma's listening to it, and so are they. I probably will change this setup once this becomes the sitting room, but it's just a nice gift that Elias wanted to get his family because, you know, he might not be able to afford an automobile or all the finest things in life, but he was able to get his hands on a on a phonograph. So they're both really happy. Oh, they're doing a little dance. Oh, Emma heard the baby cry, so she came to take care of him. But it's time for mom to come take care of him. Alrighty, you guys. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot to get through today, but it was definitely worth it. And I hope you guys are super excited to see what the future holds for this series. I have a lot planned for the 1900s, so I'm really excited for it. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And until next time, you guys, I'm gonna say bye for now.